Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope you've been enjoying all these presentations as much as I have. My name is Ben Larson, and I'm here to present my project, ViewStar. But first, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, my background. So I graduated from Baylor University with a degree in math. Uh, after that, I became a high school math teacher and a football coach for two years. Then I decided to switch careers and become a web developer at Crowdsource Rescue, where we uh, made a website that helped rescue people during hurricanes. All right, so now into the project. What is ViewStar? Well, ViewStar is a video sharing website designed to compete with YouTube. Now, I'm sure several of you might be thinking, compete with YouTube? How are you going to do that? Well, I'll tell you. It's pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to reward the viewer for watching videos. All right, again, that's the, that's the crux of the whole project, is that we're going to reward the viewer for watching the videos. So what does that look like? So for every advertisement that the viewer watches, they're rewarded with points. They can then spend these points on items in our shop. All right, so getting into the numbers of it. All right, so for every ad, YouTube earns between 10 and 30 cents, depending on how much they're charging, with an average of 18 cents per ad. So if we look at the chart in the breakdown, we see the big red line or the big red bar on the left. That's YouTube. That's how much they earn per ad. They earn, on average, 14 cents per ad. And the creator, the person who made the, uh, the video, gets four cents. And then over on the right is my proposed uh, breakdown of the budget. So we see we have a little red bar that's only two cents. We see that the blue bar has grown uh, to six cents, and then the viewer, the person actually watching the video, will then get ten cents. All right, so that clearly incentivizes the viewer more to watch the video. It also incentivizes the creator because they're now making a little bit more money uh, per view that they get. And I think this is a, a pretty good way to approach this problem. All right, so now we're going to get into the demo. So these are this is an outline of what we're going to go through. We're going to go through user sign up and login. We're going to go through uploading a video. We're going to go through creating an advertisement. And then finally, purchasing an item from the shop. All right, so we'll go ahead and share uh, the website. Can, can you all see this? I know I was having technical issues yesterday. Can you see my website? We can see it. OK, awesome. So let's begin then. So this is uh, view star. This is the home screen. Up here in the top right corner, we have a sign up button. So we're going to go ahead and create a new user by signing up. And you all will have a chance to do this in a second. So we're going to, uh, whoops, wrong, uh, wrong thing. I forgot I had to do that. Uh, we're going to sign up a user called demo uh, with password demo. I can from password demo. Now, if you wanted to become an advertiser, this is where you click the advertiser box. But for right now, we're just making uh, a normal user called demo. All right, so we signed up the user, uh, separated out so we can also show you the login part for right now. So again, it's demo and demo. All right, so now we're logged in. So this is, again, our home screen. It's the same home screen. Uh, we go over here to the top right corner. We open up our little viewer bar. We're going to click on view profile. All right, so this is the videos that this user has uploaded. Right now it's blank because, you know, we just made it. So we're going to click on the Upload Video button. We're going to give it a name and a description. We'll say it's going to be a Java video. And now we just hit the Choose File button. You all can't see this. Give me one second to upload the video. All right, so see, I have uploaded video java.mp4. We're going to go ahead and hit Upload. And now this is going to upload that video in the category of Java. It's taking a little bit because I had to switch up how I was storing it. We'll get into that a little bit later, how I'm uh, actually storing the video files. All right, so this is our video that we just created. It's called Demo. Let's go ahead and click on it, and, and uh, let's view it. All right, so before I click View, what we're going to see is we're going to see this video swap out, and in goes the advertisement that we're going to view. Right now it's chosen at random because I don't have any advertisements for the video type that was Java. If you remember, we had the different types we could have, which was sports, movies, Java, video games. All right, and I picked Java, and I don't have any ads for that right now, so it's just going to pick an ad from random. So when I click play, it's going to and then it's going to switch to the video. And after the ad gets done playing, we see our points here. We have zero points right now. That's going to increase to 10. So then we'll have 10 points for us watching our ad. 
All right, and also uh, for later on, I'll just make a, a mention of it now. There's a comment section down below. Um, I didn't share that with everybody yesterday. I didn't really draw any attention to it, but that's there for y'all to play with later. Um, so go ahead, watch the ad. So we see it switches to Mulan, which was my video ad type for movies. Now it's playing. Um, I don't think y'all can hear the audio. I know I can't hear the audio, but again, y'all y'all can play with this later and you'll hear the audio. All right, so that was us uh, uh, signing up a user, then logging in and uploading a video. So now let's go ahead and log out, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to be an advertiser. All right, so we're going to log in to an advertiser account that I have, just called advertiser. Go ahead and sign in. All right, the advertiser tools are on their home page, which is again, we go to the user in the top right corner, and then we click view profile. And now if we notice, right, we still have no uploads, we still have the upload video button over there, but now we have a new button, or view ads. All right, so this is like the advertiser portal for now. We see our ad campaigns, right? We have Gatorade, we have Mulan, that was the ad that just played for us, and we have PS4. Each of these are for the different video types. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. We're gonna call this one uh, Udemy because that is the ad that I picked. So we're creating the Udemy campaign. I need to go back into the advertiser portal, click on the campaign that we just made. So now we're in our Udemy campaign and we don't have any ads inside of them. So we're gonna go ahead and create an ad. All right, again, we're just gonna call it Udemy. And this is going to be for the Java, uh, video types that I don't have any ads for. So now when we watch Java, this ad should show up. I'm going to go ahead and choose a file, choose the correct ad that I want to show up, and then click the upload button. Again, this will take longer than it took yesterday during our practice, but we'll get into that later in the presentation. All right, so now that our ad is showing, I'm just going to go ahead back uh, and go to the home screen, click on this ad again, or the video that we just uh, uploaded earlier with our demo user. Go ahead, click on it. Now we should have this nice Udemy ad show up. All right, this is the ad that we just uploaded, and now our video is playing. Um, so there goes uh, the advertiser part, creating a new ad. So the last part that I want to show everyone is I want to show you what it looks like to buy an item from the store. All right, so I'm going to go to this viewer that I already had a lot of points added in, so we don't have to sit there and watch a bunch of ads during the presentation. Um, so to get to the store, we just go up here on our points. It's clickable. It's going to take us to our store. You see we have 120 points right now. Go ahead, click on it. it redirects us to our store. All right, so we have a $1 gift card to Amazon or a $10 gift card to Amazon as our items in the shop. All right, as we see, we can't buy this one yet. We don't have enough points. So we're just going to go ahead and buy this one. If you tried to buy the $10, it would, it would say, hey, you don't have enough points. But we'll just, we'll just keep it a little bit brief for the presentation. All right, so we click on it. Now we have a purchase button. So we click this, we buy it, we should see our points drop down to 20 when we're on the next page after it buys. All right, so we have purchase successful, hooray. We got our $1 from Amazon. Uh, and now we have 20 points, right? So it, it deducted the point total. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show on this version of the demo. Um, before I forget, now that we're done with that, I'm going to run this little file real quick if it'll let me. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to do this later. The screen sharing is having a bit of an issue. Um, we'll go ahead and go back to the PowerPoint presentation. All right, so again, just to go over what, what we did again, we did user sign up and login. We did uploading a video, creating an advertisement, and then purchasing an item from the shop. All right, so these are the technologies that I use. All right, so I use HTML. CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, you know, all the usual suspects on the front end. And I also use uh, Timely to help with that as well. And then for the back end, I use Java, I use Spring Boot, Spring Security, I use JPA, I love JPA, and uh, MySQL. Then for the hosting, this is being hosted on AWS with the EC2, the S3, and the RDS. And I had to add in the S3 yesterday. Um, again, we'll, we'll talk about that. So then I'm using the Namecheap for the domain name, and the Linux is the version of the uh, of the, the server that I'm running it on. Um, it was supposed to be running a benlarson.website. That was what I tried to do. That didn't quite work. Uh, I tried to hit enter, 
let me try to share that screen. Maybe that'll work. Uh, maybe now it'll work. All right. So now hopefully y'all can see the console. I was going to hit enter. This is what wasn't working. It wasn't like actually hitting enter. I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right. It's running. So now it'll be good to go in about 20 seconds. That's about how long this thing takes. All right. And then back to the slide that we're on. All right. So it's going to be running at benlarson.website here very shortly. And you can go ahead and log on. Again, that's just my name and then dot website. I didn't get a dot com because it was a little bit too expensive. I just want something that was a dollar. Um, so now we move on to the stretch goals that we're going to have. All right. So for the stretch goals, uh, I would like to revamp the advertising services. Right now, there's just one type of ad that we can put on the website. Uh, there are many different types that we can put forward. Um, I'd like to improve the search capabilities. As I showed you, the search bar is a drop down. Obviously, that's not you know ideal, but it's good enough. It gets the job done for this presentation. We have improved video interaction abilities. I would like to change the way that I'm uh, showing the video to the user and give them more things that they can do with it and then switch to client-side rendering. Uh, right now, I did all that server-side rendering, and I, I made that choice at the beginning because I was concerned a little bit if I did client-side rendering that they might be able to just download the videos. Um, and after looking more at it, I realized that wasn't really that big of a concern. Uh, it's the same, I, I would still have the same issue no matter which rendering I use. After working through it a little bit, I think I'd prefer client-side rendering. All right, so now, if I were to build it again, all right, just mentioned this in the previous slide. I'll switch to client-side rendering and then use Angular for the front end. Uh, another thing that I learned was I need to make better use of polymorphism. I do good. I did a good enough job, but I realized about halfway through that I was coding. I was like, wait a second. All of these things are very similar. Why didn't I just, you know, make a parent class instead? But, uh, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, and then spend more time planning and finding commonalities in my program. As it is, I currently, or I took, Three days, the first three days, just planning. So the first day was just brainstorming. Second day was largely, you know, planning out all that stuff. The third day was kind of cutting down stuff and getting it all to fit into a nice presentation. I still think I needed to spend a little bit more time planning. Um, so, and those are just things that if I were to build this all over again, these are some of the changes that I would make. Uh, so now open it up for questions. If anybody has any questions to ask. So you are officially the first person to have a actually live running app on the internet. I it did go out. I couldn't help myself and, and pulled it up. So um, uh, you went to it. Good. I was wondering if it was going to work because I, I should have just had to click on the box and hit enter. So I, I don't know why I had to click on it like seven times before it actually started working. But well, it's, it's good. It's good that it's up. Oh, I, and a couple of things before I forget on that. Um, a couple of the things aren't quite working on the live services, it has, it's an issue with, I think Amazon security, I need to dig more into that. It's not letting like the points update because that uses an Ajax call and it's ha it's running into a, I think it was like a cross something or it was a cores issue. I forget exactly what it, what that stands for, but I was running into that issue. So a couple of things aren't quite working as intended, but uh, file upload and viewing, all of that's working. It's fantastic, that is absolutely great job. Um, this is, you know, multiple firsts on this one. I, this is also the first time that I've seen someone use AWS. And I, I know you had a little bit of experience um, in that from the past. Yes, so, um, I, I guess for my knowledge, how talk, talk to me about what that means and how you were able to implement that into this project. So what that means is the first thing that you got to do, right, you got to create the account on Amazon. And then they have a couple of different uh, tools that are available to you. So I mentioned the EC2, uh, the S3 bucket, and the RDS. So we'll, we'll go in reverse order. So the RDS, that's the database. So instead of connecting to a database on my local host, I'm connecting to one on the Amazon.com uh, in my application.properties file. So that's how that part is working. So that's just the database, the MySQL database. Uh, funny story, when I was uh, getting this all up and running and getting it tested, of course, you know, made a test database first, and I didn't really care about the security of it, so I made its username be admin and its password be password. Uh, and then I had it out there and had it running for it was like a day and a half. And then I checked back in, and somebody had hacked into my database, and they had demanded a ransom for all my data that I had in there, all of my one row, which was just user user. That's all that it was. 
<laughs> and they were demanding uh, I pay them 0 0.006 Bitcoin in return for this very valuable data that they had taken from me. Um, I, I got a good kick out of that. So, I mean, obviously, I just like canceled the database and just made a different one because um, it was just for testing. But I, I thought it was pretty funny when I saw that, that somebody would, you know, have a bot go through the, the website and go and take my data. I just thought that was pretty interesting. Um, so that was the RDS. And then the S3 bucket, this was the change that I had to make yesterday. I thought I knew what I was going to do. I thought I was just going to be changing a few lines of code, putting it up, and then it was going to be online. But I had to change where my files were stored because there's an issue with, um, what's the best way to describe it? Accessing them in both on my local host and on when I put this file on the server. So there was an issue uh, there. So I needed to find a different solution where I needed to put the files. So I put them on S3 using S3 bucket. It's not the most secure, but it's fine for the presentation. Um, and then the EC2, that's the actual like computer part, like the, you know, I'm, I'm on a Windows box right now. That is the actual Linux box that I have running on Amazon. So that's kind of how all of that stuff works together. Really cool. Thank you for the um, easy to understand explanation too. I know there's just so many components in AWS, but that was really helpful to me. Yeah, and the I get the RDS and the S3 more than I get the EC2 because there, there's a lot that goes on in the EC2. Um, and I have obviously a working knowledge of it to be able to get around and stuff, but I don't really get the EC2 part. But like the, the other ones are a lot more easy to understand for me personally. Fantastic job. Thank you. All right. Who else has questions here? I know Ronnie usually does. Ronnie, you are up. Yeah, Ben, obviously, nice job on this application. And um, let me be the first to congratulate, to congratulate you on arriving. Uh, you Thank have you. created an asset that someone wants to steal on the internet. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. Um, and uh, I went out as well and uh, started running through the application. And the fact that I'm looking at a live app is pretty cool. Thanks. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. You find any bugs yet? I, I didn't um, do all the like really detailed testing, but I put in like a default error pace where if you you know you hit something, you just go home and try it again. Uh, we'll we'll uh, do a code review later. All right. Sounds good. Sounds awesome, Ronnie. Any other questions? Yeah, I had a quick question. Yeah. Oh yeah, go for it. This so, is Derek? yeah. Hey Ben. Okay. Hey, uh, for uh, future, do you plan on adding like a, a captcha or any kind of like humanizing element to prevent uh, people from maybe automating video views? Yes, I don't want to give that away though. Uh, I got some good ideas. I don't want to give away my good ideas, but yes, that that was part of my planning process. Uh, that that was obviously you know a, a big. A big issue is, you know, the ads become a lot less valuable if people can just automate it and just, you know, keep refreshing the page. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there's a plan for that. I don't really want to get into it in the in the this presentation though. Thank you. Yep. Sorry, I couldn't, you know, give you the the specific, but. Oh, no, that's fine. Ashley, it looked like you might have had a question. Yes, I do. I have a question for Ben. Hello, Ashley. Hello, it's more of a business question, but um, what would give the companies more incentive to run on your application rather than YouTube if they're making less? I just want to hear your thinking behind that. When you say the companies, what do you mean? Like the advertisers or what? Advertiser. Yeah, advertiser. The advertisers? Well, the advertisers are going to go wherever the viewers are. So that is the at the crux of everything is we need to attract the viewers because there have been people that have tried to compete with YouTube by attracting the creators and they they don't really work because they're going after the wrong target audience right the money is made in being able to provide value to the advertisers and what do they value they value viewers so the whole thing is targeted around going and getting the viewers to come to the website um and the advertisers they they just make money they're not the ones that aren't making money they're just the ones that are paying money um so i guess i don't really quite understand where the questions coming from i guess i don't quite understand the like the miscommunication somewhere um because the advertisers they're just paying money for the ad every time that the ad gets viewed uh yeah, they no. make their money by people clicking on it and then going to the website and then 
Um, generally, that's all that the advertiser has to do. Then the people that have the products have to then, uh, you know, do a good job of selling their product. And then that's how those people make money. So that's generally how it all works. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. No, I just wanted to hear your okay. thinking behind it because the way I was thinking about it was different. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the question. Okay. Do we have any more questions? I don't think so. That was an awesome job. Thank you so much. Well, ben. All right. I have one more thank you slide. So I'd like to thank everyone in Genesis 10. I'd like to thank everyone in the software guild with a special thanks to Ronnie and a shout out to Amir. Thanks, Amir. Uh, 